Good morning and welcome back to We Are at Austin. Are you ready? I'm so excited about this. We got the name of our own show. Are you ready to rock out uh, to a story about a royal family on a quest to find love? Uh, yes, please. If so, then you cannot miss the Austin premiere of Head Over Heels at Zack Theater. This joyful Broadway hit features music from rock and roll Hall of Famers, the Go-Go's. And speaking of, the musical direction of the band is Go-Go bassist and our friend Kathy Valentine, who's here today and is directed by Dave Stakely, who are both here to t uh, chat a little bit about this incredible show and this cool journey. Good morning to you both. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Good morning. Especially on this very busy week. <laughs> it, it happens this week, so thanks for taking time out. Uh, let's just tell everybody ab about the show a little bit. Tell us about the show and we'll talk a little bit about the journey. Sure. Um, the Head Over Heels is not about the Go-Go's. A lot of people hear Go-Go's musical and think it's the story of the band and that is not what it is. It's a what they call a jukebox musical mm. where it uses our music to kind of drive a story that is a little like kind of off kilter nice. which fits with the brand of the band very well. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, and it's a, a, a Shakespearean 17th century story called the Arcadia oh. by, um, I always forget his name, Sir Philip Sidney, I mm. believe. And it was adapted in this very modern way, but with the period pieces and language, but a lot of wonderful modern themes and very progressive and very... Fun. Very fun. It's crazy, it's wacky, it's so much fun. I love to hear And that. our music drives the story along. Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like a, a perfect relationship. The the, the Go-Go's music is so fun and uplifting, and it, I imagine it's the perfect soundtrack to something like this. Did you ever think that your music would be used <laughs> in this way someday? I never thought. I mean, <laughs> when I started playing, I started in Austin playing yeah. music, and I was 16 or 17, and it never entered my mind, like, one day I'm going to have my songs in a Broadway music. <laughs> Musical <laughs> never entered my mind, so um, it's it's actually one of the things I'm the most proud of. Oh, I love to hear that. So, Dave, how did you guys connect? Tell me a little bit about this story and bringing this story to Austin. Well, once this show premiered on Broadway, I knew that Zach had to produce it. We certainly wanted to honor Kathy's legacy, not only with the Go Go's, but her long history in Austin as a musician. Yeah, and so um, yeah, uh, to have her involvement is just the cherry on the cake uh, of this whole experience. So um, Kathy was actually doing a celebrity signing in New York at a Comic-Con and I was staying just a couple of blocks away and I knew that uh, pre-production was beginning so I just <laughs> headed over to see her because we'd never met uh, after all these times. Uh, the, you know, our, our lives are pretty parallel in sure. terms of the times in Austin. Um, but anyway, it gave us the opportunity to connect, and Kathy said that you know she would really love to participate in the production. And so to have um, you know just the person who's not only one of the creators yeah. of many of the hits in this piece, right. uh, they're uh, guiding this band through the process is extraordinary. I bet that is, and what a, a great and a rare opportunity in musical theater to really kind of have the, the source material there with you on stage, right? That's Absolutely. incredible. What has this experience been like, and what is your role in this show? Well, one of the things I loved that Dave said when we first began talking about it was he said, this is Austin. Uh, when people come to a rock musical, they want it to sound like rock and roll. Nice. So that made me really happy. Um, we are following the, the score of the Broadway musical, but every now and then I will say like, okay, here's where we're going to be like Texas Go-Go's <laughs> and we're just going to let loose and and give it that Austin kind of flavor that's yeah. just, it's very authentic to to us. And I forgot the question. No, you, you, you nailed it. You know, it's really just kind of what that, it's, what it's that been has been like. It's been loads of fun and really challenging. And I so have you're to say, on stage the, that, during on the- On stage, uh, integrated in with the performers cool. often, uh, which I don't know if, well, they didn't do that on Broadway. They had the band hidden. Yeah. It was a reveal at the right. end that it was an all female band. But uh, I, I love it. It's The whole band loves it. That's amazing. Tell me a little bit about the band. Who will we see on stage? Because this is a really cool gig. Yeah, well, we, we both wanted it to be all female. Nice. Uh, to honor the Makes legacy sense. of the Go-Go's. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, so I hired who I thought was the best musicians that, that could do the job. I mean, Austin has no shortage of wonderful musicians. Too true. Uh, of any gender. But the... I wanted the people that I thought could play the music the best. So there's Yves Monse on on uh, lead guitar and all the guitar, 
Emily Gimble on oh, keyboards, wow. and new transplant to Austin, Christy McInnes on the drums. Wow, very cool. What must and that I'm be I'm playing like? bass. Yeah, and of course bass. To get a call from Kathy Valentine saying, I think you are the best to play my music. Yeah, blows my mind. That's amazing. I well, didn't tell Dave, but if they didn't say yes, I was going to maybe not do it. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad you did that. Right, right. Yeah, it's a yeah big we're deal. so fortunate. It's just such a rock star team. Once you see these four artists, I mean, uh, that alone is worth the price of admission. Yes. But the integration of them uh, inside the story, and we have some uh, special surprises for fans of the Go-Go's that we've added in that is in tribute to all of those persons who've uh, followed them over the years. Oh, I'm so excited. We could talk about this forever. I'm afraid we're out of time, but I'm so excited about this. I'll be there this week to see. I cannot wait awesome. to see it. Yay. Congratulations to you both. Where can we go to get tickets and how long will this run? Yeah, go to zachtheater.org and uh, performances begin for the public this Wednesday. And so we'll play Wednesday through Sundays each week through September 10th. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for bringing this to life in Austin. Thank you for everything that you've done for Austin and the music scene in general. I mean, we got a, a Hall of Famer right here next to This is too cool. I know you probably get that a lot, but it's a big deal to us. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. I'm very excited for you both, and we'll see you there. Break a leg. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. We appreciate right. it. We've got more We Are Austin coming up right after this quick break. We'll be right back. Okay.